find this and other great figures at BigBadToyStore.com. What's going on, guys? Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise One Step Change Grimlock Fix It and Steel Jaw. First up, we have Steel Jaw, and he is by far my personal weakest of the set. Now, that's not to say he's bad at all. He actually has a fun transformation, but I just don't like the way this alt mode looks. There's nothing going on in the back of the vehicle. It's actually hollow, and the actual alt mode looks nothing like his alt mode should. His alt mode is supposed to be this kind of muscle car dragster that looks like a wolf's head, and I'm not getting that here. It's just way too too pedestrian and it's way too blue in the show and all the renders we've seen of the show he is supposed to be gray even though i'm not a huge fan of the figure in alt mode i think his transformation is pretty nifty to do it grab the front bumper and flip the bumper completely around thus flipping out all of his robot mode bits and there we go that was the transformation and to transform him back, grab the tail and flip it over the body. And that's that's all she wrote. That's literally all there is to it. It's a very, very simple transformation. Thankfully, it does lock into place in robot mode so it doesn't flop around. He has zero articulation in this form. Head doesn't move, body doesn't move, nothing. But he does have a molded tail. As I said, I think it's the weakest of the three in, well... His alt mode isn't great, his robot mode isn't great, but his transformation is fun, so that's a plus. Next up is Grimlock, and I will be the first to admit that I really do not like the look of this bot or this monster mode, or the T-Rex mode. It just doesn't look right. It looks like somebody tried to smuggle a hippopotamus, put it on two legs, and then make it a dinosaur. It doesn't work for me at all, and it's just not pleasant to look at. Though I will admit, the head sculpt isn't bad at all, and his mouth does open and close. He even has a little robot tongue in there. Grimlock's transformation is very easy. Simply turn the figure around so the tail is facing you, grab his hind legs, and butterfly them out, and that will cause the auto-transforming gimmick to kick in, and then bring his arms forward and push his dino feet together to form hands. And what we end up with with the robot mode is... Less than stellar, I would say. I think Underbite and some of the other instant, or I should say one-step change figures are more entertaining. Grimlock's not bad. I, I can't say that he's bad, but his transformation is, well, it's easy. It's very similar to his uh, transformation from the movies for the one-step change figures. I just really, really dislike his dino mode. The bot mode... Eh, bot mode's all right, if not just a little bit over bulky. So last but not least is Fix-It. And of the three, he has my favorite alt mode. It reminds me of the Beast Riders from Beast Machines. Yeah, those figures were kind of dumb, but Fix-It's actually kind of charming here. We have this kind of go-kart drill tank thing going on. I kind of dig it. Fix-It's transformation is by far the easiest. To transform him, grab the, I guess, handles here and push down, and he will flip up and snap into place. However, the snap doesn't always take. And the snap is this little gray piece right here. So push it down, and then push the snap forward. And that will hold him in place. And then you have Fix It in his Autobot mode. His posability is arms move up and down, and that's it. Though I have to admit, I do like the transformation. It's a fun little transformation. Easy, obviously, but fun. To get him back into alt mode, simply move your fingers and pull the little gray tab away, and he will automorph into his drill go-kart mode. So, of the three, he is by far my favorite, and I just, I think he's really kind of cool. If you have a very young Transformers fan in your life, and I'm talking young like two, then these figures are going to be pretty cool and pretty good for them, and I would recommend them. But if you're anything older than four, I would say start with the Legions class or the Warrior class figures, because those are more geared towards younger fans. Or younger fans, but, but I mean younger fans is like three to five. If you've got anyone below three, 
or younger than, yeah, below three, younger than three, these would be fine, but three to five is really where the warrior class and legion class figures are going, you're going to want to get for them as opposed to these. But hey, if the little guy or gal wants these figures, by all means, go ahead and pick them up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.